Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a love and relationship reading for Scorpio from the 19th of August to the 1st of September 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you'd like a personal reading, please go to my website jessmud.co.uk and book a reading. I've put the decks that I'm using in the description box, so please have a look. And don't forget to watch my videos on simple energy healing remedies as well as my deck walkthrough series. You will find that very, very interesting and helpful. So like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm starting off with a general energy read for you and then I will do the general tarot read for you afterwards. And I'm using the Psychic Tarot of the Heart for the energy read this week. So you are trying to manifest a relationship. You're very, very focused on it. You want to make a brand new start. Uh, maybe you're putting out a lot of communication to a lot of people and you are trying to attract uh, a love interest towards you with that uh, magician card. You've got clarity over here. So you're cutting out the past, making a clean break, seeing things from a different perspective. And you've undergone a lot of transformation over there with the clarity of belief, Ace of Swords there. You've had some kind of aha moment or you'll be having some kind of aha moment that allows you to see things in a very, very different perspective. Maybe a lot of truth as well has come to light about a previous relationship that has caused a lot of transformation for you. You're suddenly changing your focus over there. This is the Five of Cups. So instead of focusing on that which you have lost, it seems like you are now focusing on uh, the future. And, you know, whatever cups were left standing, it seems to be what you're focusing on at the moment right now and moving on. Uh, you've got a lot of communication going on over there. You've got a lot of birds flying forward. So it seems like whatever you're thinking about, uh, you know, you're trying to bring this new relationship in. And maybe you've met somebody or there are people that you're trying to attract in and maybe you're doing a lot of communication in that sort of way. You've got the success and growth card over here. So you're putting a lot of work or you, it seems like maybe you put a lot of work into uh, that particular relationship that you were involved in in the past. You try to speak your truth as well. You've got that throat chakra or maybe you couldn't speak your truth. Maybe this chakra was blocked, um, but you did try. You, you gave it everything you had as far as that relationship went. Now, going into the future, you've got the Blossom card and Choose Your Battles. So, this is reaching that fork in the roads, a judgment call made on your part. This is the judgment card and moving in a different direction. So, changing your focus uh, and moving in a different direction. Maybe looking for something else, a different kind of relationship now. Maybe not. Maybe you've decided that what you were looking for in the past is not what you want for, the, for yourself for the future. So it looks like you're going to make uh, you know, a decision and you're going to change direction, change the way you approach uh, uh, situations in the future. Uh, there is a need for you to defend yourself. So uh, you know, if you're going uh, you know, because you are making a change, You're, maybe people are going to be criticizing the way you handle things now, uh, but you need to uh, defend yourself and choose your battles uh, wisely. So uh, don't get yourself drawn into arguments, unnecessary petty things, pet petty issues. Uh, let it go. Learn to walk away from any kind of situation. Uh, and as it says, choose your battles wisely. But defend yourself if anybody comes up against you. You don't want them to take advantage of you. So that's important. But it looks like you're going to be making a decision and moving in, uh, you know, in a completely different direction. Also, with the judgment card, you're going to be given a second chance at love, it seems. Uh, and, you know, this will be a new love coming in for you will be much better than your previous relationships. So that is well uh, worth looking forward to. And know that, uh, you know, if you're being given a second chance, grab it with both hands because it will end up being something really good, especially, you know, when something comes in with a judgment card, it is really, really good. Uh, with the judgment card also, you know, you could be running into somebody from your past, uh, maybe starting a relationship with somebody, you know, you were meant to have a relationship with and didn't at that particular time. So there could, could be somebody from the past re-emerging uh, and maybe you start a relationship with that person. Maybe you're more connected now with that person than you were with uh, them in the past. So be aware that that could be coming in as well for you. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to draw some cards from the Botticelli uh, deck for the main read. So 
also you've got the ace of pentacles so it looks like there is a relationship that is coming on offer for you this person is much more secure you can see this person offering this pentacle there you might even be working with this person or you may have worked with them in the past um, there's some kind of financial tie to this particular person but they are financially secure um, and like I said you could be working with them uh, somebody that you meet uh, you know on your day-to-day -day, uh, routine and you don't even realize that you are you have things in common with that that particular person so the, a new relationship seems to be uh, heading your way there with that ace of pentacles you've got the devil card over there crossed by the six of wands so it's almost uh, you know the relationship that you may have had in the past may have been very very controlling and maybe there was a lot of problems and a lot of issues and maybe this is the reason why you had to leave this particular relationship uh, you know set yourself you had to liberate yourself from this person because they were causing so much of drama there were so many arguments and fights they were so controlling uh, you know that you could have been involved with a Capricorn person because of that devil card uh, and they were very very controlling they caused a lot of problems and it looks like you had to leave that relationship uh, and move away from it break that tie break that connection there was suddenly a divorce that you went through or some kind of separation with this particular person and that cycle ended uh, it looks like whatever financial connection you had with that person, so if you're shared joint resources, it looks like that particular relationship ended up in a divorce. Um, things were settled uh, and you moved on from it. Now, it looks like recently somebody has come in. You've got that two of cups over here. So this particular person, uh, you know, it could've, you could have known this person in the past or you could know this person right now. Uh, maybe, like I said, you could be working with this p particular person. Uh, you'll have quite a connection going on over there. It's a very soulmate connection. You'll understand each other quite a bit. It might be a really good friendship at the moment uh, with the Two of Cups. Uh, you could even it could be a, a business partnership. It could it could be uh, you know um, somebody that you're working with that you just instantly have connected with, like a good friendship. So um, you know this this is uh, somebody around you, but you are uh, pretty much on the same page with this particular person. Now you've got the Knight of Wands over here, so uh, you know it looks like you are planning on. You might be thinking of actually making some kind of move towards this particular person, making some kind of offer. They certainly do. Uh, there's certainly a lot of freedom in this particular relationship, um, but whatever you know, with the Knight of Wands, it's about. A decision, uh, some kind of decision coming up for you that you're going to have to need to act pretty quickly with it as well. Uh, you might be taking a trip together with this Knight of Wands. Um, this particular person might well also be a fire sign person. Uh, and so this person is on your mind and, um, you know, uh, they love their freedom. Uh, they're very, very direct, it seems, um, and they're very dynamic. Uh, and maybe they're going to make an offer to you and you have to make a decision pretty quickly about whether or not to accept that particular offer. But you're certainly very attracted to them and you're thinking about them quite a lot. So that's what's in your mind. So going into the future, you've got the Queen of Cups over here. Now, uh, this is uh, your card. Um, and you are but depressed about what had happened to you in the past. You've been spending a lot of time by yourself and maybe crying a lot about that previous relationship um, that you had ended. You learned a lot from uh, what had gone down, but you've been spending a lot of time by yourself. And maybe looking a lot to the past, so maybe thinking a lot about that past relationship. And that's been very upsetting for you. Uh, maybe you've been crying a lot about it. Now you've got the Four of Wands, so something brand new starting for you. There's a lot of more friends coming into your life here with this Four of Wands. Uh, you know, you're starting off new friendships as well, doing a lot more travel, um, you know, doing a lot more socializing as well with that Four of Wands. So you're meeting a lot of people and this person that you might be meeting or you might have met might be foreign as well. So you've got the Knave of Wands over here. So definitely an offer coming in. So this might start off, uh, you know, as um, it might have started off as a friendship, but it's certainly going to be progressing towards something more physical, uh, more passionate with that Knave of Wands. So this is an offer being made to you. So uh, this particular person, uh, you know, you are physically attracted to this particular person and they might be physically attracted to you as well. So there's that offer coming in uh, to start something that is um, much deeper, uh, and something that is uh, much more passionate as well. So in your hopes and fears, you've got the Queen of Pentacles. Um, you know, it looks like you do, you are looking for security within the relationship. That is what you are trying to focus on. 
and it's also it seems like you're trying to decide what is the worth or the value of this particular relationship so you are looking at this relationship very carefully um, you know and uh, you are trying to uh, see whether or not it's going to be worth your while investing in this particular relationship so going into the future and the final outcome you've got the wheel of fortune the eight of swords and the empress card so things are about to make uh, you know, take uh, a turn for the better. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is about big changes coming in for you there. Um, and, uh, you know, usually the Wheel of Fortune is quite a positive uh, change that comes in. So you've ended uh, an old cycle, maybe an old cycle of being alone or going through all these problems that you went through. You managed to get away from this difficult situation that you were, that control factor. And it looks like now things are going to be uh, moving in a, in a better direction for you, a more positive direction. You've got the Eight of Swords. You're still feeling trapped by all your previous thoughts. And maybe, you know, you can see this man's tied to this tree over here. So there's something about that old relationship that still prevents you from making a move in this particular new relationship. Uh, maybe it's fear. Uh, maybe you don't want any more conflict as well and it's there's a lot of anxiety that is attached to starting a new relationship so you're feeling a little stuck as well um, but the wheel of fortune is coming in so things are about to change for you so you are going to feel um, maybe you felt as though you know you couldn't make any kind of move uh, towards this particular person or you were too scared to actually even act but with that wheel of fortune coming in things are about to change for a positive uh, in a positive way and the Empress card is the final card, and this is about whatever you want uh, out of this relationship will manifest. This is the card ruled by Venus. So you are, you know, if you have expectations of this particular relationship that it will develop into something good, it looks like it will. Uh, and it's going to make you very, very happy. You're going to be very, very content within this particular relationship. And maybe, you know, it will be uh, something that will allow you to even uh, set up a family with this particular person. So even have children, uh, you know, you might even buy ho a home together because the Empress is about, uh, you know, it's ruled by Venus, which rules personal security, home, family, uh, children, that kind of thing. So it looks like, you know, it might end up being a long-term relationship and it might be something that gives you everything that you have been wanting for uh, or you've been looking for out of a relationship. So let go of that past because it looks like there's this new thing that is on the horizon for you. It's just within your reach and uh, you need to stop crying about whatever you've lost and start looking forward uh, to uh, this new relationship. That It looks like it's going to progress quite nicely. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. And you've got the page of Michael over here, an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Uh, review contracts or documents. So... Uh, this is, um, you know, with the um, page of Michael, it's about needing to act really quickly, about, you know, making a decision, needing to cut out that past, um, you know, needing to also communicate quite clearly with the person that you're going to be dealing with. You've got the nine of Raphael over here, so make a wish. Dreams are coming, uh, a reality and a joyful time in life. So everything that you're wishing for, even with that Empress card, you know, you're getting to live that life of luxury and happiness and contentment. And you can see she's making plans for the future here. So it looks like things are going to start working out for you. And you've got that Nine of Raphael, Nine of Cups, wishes coming true. And finally, you've got the page of Raphael over here. A new emotional situation, messages regarding relationships or social invitations. So you can see there's a nice big castle in the back over here. So it looks like, you know, this relationship is going to progress into something long term. You may set up home with this particular person. And there's certainly going to be a lot of um, stability and security and a lot of healing that comes out of this new emotional experience that you're going to have so let go of the past and uh, you know if this new relationship presents itself it's something that you should really accept because it looks like it's going to end up uh, fulfilling a lot of your wishes and ticking all the boxes uh, so i hope this reading has resonated please don't forget to like share and subscribe and thank you for watching take care now goodbye